Welcome to our Five on Five. Please be joined by John Vile. He's the Jackson County Director for Roads and Parks. Good to see you, sir. Thank you. A lot of territory you're covering these days. So uh, we're, we're here to talk about the, the Greenway, not only the Bear Creek Greenway, but maybe the lesser known, if you will, the Rogue River Greenway. Uh, who manages the Greenway, first off? You know, if you're talking about the Bear Creek Greenway, the Bear Creek Greenway is actually managed by five different cities and Jackson County through an agreement that we call the Joint Powers Agreement. And through this agreement, we pool our resources, we pool our funds, and we complete routine maintenance as well as special projects. And the county actually serves as the staff to that, where our parks department is actually serving as the staff to help complete much of the work on the Greenway. Yeah, people may not know it is a, is a Jackson County Park. So uh, talking about now the Rogue River Greenway, that is 100% your territory? So the Rogue River Greenway is, is a facility that a lot of people aren't that familiar with because a lot of it's not been completed yet. Little bits and pieces of it are, but the Rogue River Greenway is going to start up where the Bear Creek Greenway stops, which is right at uh, Kirtland Road out by Knife River's plant out in the Tolo area. Mm -hmm. And it will continue following the river in different areas and hopefully connect all the way to the city of Grants Pass sometime in the future. Yeah, that's the long-term plan, yep. if you will. Okay, and so you guys are doing some work out there on the Rogue River Greenway right now. What, what's that look like? So one of the earliest projects on the Rogue River Greenway was connecting the, the uh, the, uh, the trail to, from the city of Rogue River to the Valley of the Rogue State Park. So if you're staying at the state park, you can ride your bike into Rogue River and back, and it's a nice facility. And then there's some pieces that were built up towards Gold Hill as well. We're doing a project now, about a $1.7 million project, uh, that's two and a half miles long, and it's gonna co basically connect Rogue River with Gold Hill. So when we're all done, we're gonna have a 10 mile section of trail where you can ride from Rogue River to Gold Hill following the river most of the direction. Wow, okay, what's the timeline for that project? So that project, the, the project that we're currently building is under construction right now um, from a, a, a contractor out of Grants Pass and they're gonna be done this summer. And so by the end of the summer, we should have a, a facility where you can ride from Gold Hill to Rogue, to Rogue River. All right, very exciting. We're gonna take a quick commercial break. Much more in just a moment, stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with John Vile, the director of Jackson County Roads and Parks. Uh, we're talking about the Bear Creek Greenway uh, here, in, here in Jackson County. Um, Medford City Council just recently approved adding some lights to, to a certain section of the Greenway. Is uh, I, guess, I guess one of the unique things about it, everybody has a different section of the Greenway. Jackson County has the largest. Have you guys looked at adding lights or at any improvements? Right now, the, the biggest problems, the biggest challenges we're having on the Greenway as far as some homeless issues, confrontations with the public, that sort of thing, is primarily in the Medford area. Once you get out in the more rural areas, we're not tending to see those kinds of problems. So we really ap applaud the efforts that the city of Medford's taken to add some lights, have this livability team, increase enforcement efforts, and they're really hitting it, hitting it hard. And, and doing a good job, but we're not seeing those needs other places. So currently there's not plans for lighting in other parts of the Greenway right now. That could come in the future. Okay, I, I'm curious, because as, as we've been talking about, the Greenway obviously runs through several different cities as well as the county. Why, why is downtown Medford, it seems, have, have the largest, uh, you know, largest homeless population? It's basically the proximity of the city to the Greenway. When the Greenway runs right through the middle of town, services that the homeless are seeking are very close. And so it's very easy for them to camp or live on the Greenway, then come into town for the services. And many of the other cities, and then in the rural sections, they have to walk a long ways or ride a long ways. So we don't tend to see those problems as bad. They're still there but not nearly as concentrated as what the city of Medford is struggling with. Okay, the fire season has certainly picked up in the last week, uh, week or two. Um, obviously, the Greenway is a huge fire risk. How do we mitigate that risk between these agencies? That is one of the toughest nuts to crack that we have because the Greenway is supposed to be a vegetated facility that is supposed to be um, uh, natural in, in its state. And so in Southern Oregon, anything that's uh, green is gonna burn in the summertime if, it, if there's ignition sources. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to, to manage the vegetation to minimize that risk, but also make it look like a greenway. So we do have lots of clearing projects that we're working um, through the different fire agencies um, where we've actually, the county has bought a, a new mower and we're getting very aggressive in mowing. Right now we can't mow because it's, it's fire danger is too high. Certainly. But in the springtime, we're gonna hit that again really hard. And so we're trying to take steps to minimize that risk 
but I doubt we're ever going to solve that problem 100% as long as it's a natural area. How does the, how does the, the budget, if you will, for the Greenway or the money spent on it, uh, how does that vary in the last years? Does it continue to go up? Because a lot of times these fuels stay here and, and get worse over time. They do. So through this joint powers agreement that I mentioned where the five cities and the county have joined together, we signed a three-year agreement with a fixed amount. So that's set for, for the, we're in the second year of that. And so then after next year, um, the third year, then we'll renegotiate that again, and most likely it will probably go up because the demands and the needs on the Greenway continue to go up. All right. Good to see you. Thanks for breaking it down for Thank us. Thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.